Greetings, traveler. All right. I think I'm going to use the... I think we're going to unleash the Gale Wing secret weapon, chat. I don't think I want to go ETC. There's a possibility that we take it and that it works, but I need to test it a bit more. All right, we didn't get money. It's over. Secret curve done. Now, the upside of this is that you probably don't lose here, so this becomes a lot cheaper. So maybe this is actually even better. It's all about whether they have picky eater, right? It's, we're good against everything else. Yeah. Okay. All right, so if we win the next two or tie, then we are looking at a two gold reduction here compared to my last time I did this, which would actually line up really nicely. Because I think this cost two last time. Ah, oh, but what if we just hit a fucking Maev and it doesn't... Game! Game! Bad matchmaking. Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the reason why this is not so good is I think now I have to win my uh, six gold turn, which is pretty unlikely. So, my gold is going to be awkward again for my buddy. Match. Match, match, match. I got the best deals anywhere. Be a Darren. Huh? You go through your be back. All right. What? They didn't go 3 on 3 with us. Ridiculous. <clears throat> Six golds. Four golds. Alright, we get the Felimental, that's good. I need to take the damage here. Yeah. This is basically that, but more flexible. So I think this turn I need the Westfall. Oh, they level, that's good. I buffed the demon, which is a bit annoying. Did I ever just put the soul juggler first for the 2 2? I think so. Because my math actually doesn't change that much. Not that we were really in trouble here anyway. So. <coughs> All right, if we win the next round, it's a very clean buddy turn. Probably just gonna grab the deflector bots. Can also just take the buddy now. It's probably safer to take the buddy now. <laughs> I think I like freeze the fleck though and just grab the buddy. Yeah. If I take Buddy now, it's two gold cheaper, right, on that turn. <laughs> and I don't think I need to buy a crazy amount here. So Buddy is safer because we get our golden Buddy uh, cheaper. I need to be able to buy this golden Buddy before Eastern Plague Lands goes off. So this is because I've just played a lot of Gailwing and I'm just trying to experiment. So I'm, I'm essentially five turns in the future here when I say Buddy is safer. <laughs> Which is maybe a little bit much, but... That's that's what I've been doing. I've just been playing around the... Uh, I've been playing around the Golden Buddy plus EPL. So now, because we take Ironforge here, it's going to make the level from four to five cheaper. Which is why I try to time Iron Forge on that turn. I don't like this being too power. Right now, my curve that I'm really happy with is EPL, Westfall, Iron Forge, EPL, and then that EPL is 3 6 drops if everything lines up. Ah, the sweet 
taste of your opponent's defeat. It's not a bad lobby to pull a bunch of six drops. We can just go Nogas or Falbats. Rich Gamer, thank you so much for the farm. Welcome. Thank you for supporting. Very much appreciated. We still have 9 HP here. That's enough, right? Yeah, nice. Good, very good, very good. Right, so now this pops so that we can level. Naga Demon could also end on an Imp instead of Elise because of the juggler. Oh, I'm not Millhouse. <laughs> For some reason, I'm like, four gold, that's two minions. Yeah. Okay, I just go piggyback then, I think. Yeah. I'm not going to pay full price for that shit. All right. Yeah, I think the imp makes the most sense here. Put that juggler on board. To his company. I think I like this still. So now we buddy for a six drop and then we level for three more six drops. So it's four six drops over the course of two turns, which is quite ah, sweet. The sweet taste of your opponent's defeat. Omega Buster, that's not too scary. That's a great first hit. I think we're always fine here anyway, though. <coughs> ah, wait, 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 that's 12. Never mind. Always fine is uh, definitely not correct. Ah, but we shaved off some extra damage. Yeah, that's a 12 10 divine shield. Also, the Thorn Captain has a lot of HP. For some reason, I just. Skipped over the large HP minions there. Mechadraxus Uther. There's Mechadraxus, but Uther is just more solid, more reliable. If I get the taunt, it sucks. I'm supposed to sell this thing. Uther here. And then either two rolls. Or cycling something. It's probably better to More cycle justice. something. I just put 6 HP on the buddy here. Up, it's go time. Everything goes according to my plan. So next turn I level. Or I pull a bunch of fives. Let's first see how the fight goes here, because they've got a scary minion. The Uther on the Deflectobots, very nice. Definitely the good 6 drop to pull. Mm, unfortunately, my fight is... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say... Unfortunately, the last part of the fight did not go well. But the very, very, very last part of the fight went really well. <sighs> so, Peggy and level up versus Glow Scale, Cell level up. Glow Scale makes more sense, I think, because if I get Greta, I'll buy pirates anyway. But if I don't get Greta, I don't do anything with this. So I trade this for a Glow Scale, and then I shield either the Hogger or whatever makes sense. Because now I can also go into Wind Fury Cleave with a Wrangler. I guess the most sense is to put it on the Hogger, because the Juggler will get value anyway. And now we just try to pop off, try to get a big load of six drops that can save us. Everything goes according to my plan. Uh, was it your plan? Eliza's a bit scary. It's only one pirate, though. Eliza would need to die. Uh-oh. Okay. This is not a good fight. Fighting the Maev on her spike. Quite scary. Alright, no ghosts. And Cap is off. 
Eliza, Jaraxxus. I'll take Eliza for now. There's a Scallywag as well. I could hit more Elizas. Theo, Buster. We'll take Theo. See if I get another Theo. Alright, so double Eliza. So probably not doing too much around to Theo. I don't think I'm gonna bother with the Theo right now. I think I wanna see Greta. Ooh, Wind Fury Vanessa is really good. Okay. Out, out. Very likely out. Maybe Leroy, let's see. So Vanessa hits the board. And I will do this. This stays. Yeah, no way I can keep the buddy. One, two, three, four. It's probably good to have a Leroy. Money is nice. I just don't think I even play this. Hey, Xedon, thanks so much for the raid. Welcome, everyone. Just gonna bank Uther, maybe. Play around Cleave here. Keep it real. The Fine Shield Wind Fear of Vanessa is really nice. This Leroy got so big so fast. Maybe I can roll another Wind Fury now. Maybe I'll just play Tempo Pirate. Because it's such a nice setup with the Wind Fury Vanessa. How was the uh, stream set in? And thank you so much for the raid. Don't buy Cali. <laughs> yeah. So I got a huge power spike with uh, Eliza's. I think I'm just rolling for the um, Greta, or I just play Eliza comp. I could see this turn into just Eliza with Scallywag, Golden Baron. And this can also turn into Golden Baron selfless if I play APM. Yeah, Far Reaper would have been good a while back. I don't think I bother to Uther it now. I could have maybe Uther to Titus in the shop, but I can always make board space. Not that bad. Yeah, there's another Titus. I think it's probably just Exodia comp. I think we just win if I go Scallywag here. I don't think I want to waste the money. I'll make board space for the Uther. <laughs> I love catching some waves. You can still outsmart them. Hey Jeef. Thank you so much for the raid. Holy crap. How was the stream? Welcome everyone. Not shielding an Eliza might actually really bite me. Oh, never mind. Genius Divine Shield. Genius, I say. <clears throat> Pirate Exodia in 2023? Who is this guy? <laughs> Not top 8 yet. All right. that's, that's good. Hey. Get the money now. All right, so we get the triple here. Second Scally arrived as well. There's also taunts. That's always out. Buster Exodia pivot later. Hmm. We'll see it when we see it, I guess. Ooh, this is always out. I guess I could keep Greta on the board. It depends on how greedy we want to be. I'm always doing this. I can throw to Vanessa. Then I can play Scallywag. Yeah. I'm gonna make a Golden Eliza. I don't want Hogger yet. Maybe I put the taunt in my hand just in case. The odds are in my favor. Golden 
Next game we're popping. No, I don't want to go Golden Hogger. I think it's just Greta for extra Eliza. Jesus, that's a board. Fucking Vosh popping off. We're on 11 chats. Are we fine? It's just this thing that's a monster, but I think we're fine here. Oof. <sighs> Your Shara would be better. Yeah, I, I mean, it seems like a lot of fun. Seems like a lot of fun. I think we're done with this, but I guess the taunt is okay. Because I've already got this right for the last one. Pick up another Greta though. Maybe I can put the Greta back in the pool. Could run a queen. Only one type. I don't know. I think we just all in on the Skellies, but it's just not fancy without the Caviar. It's Blaster a thing? Not really, right? You kind of want the Skellies to attack. Pretty sure I'm happy to taunt both here and all in. Could play Boombox over a Hogger. I don't think so, though. I've got the Baron already. I've uh, got the Buster already. We can pivot here. We popped the selfless before the skellies, that's nice. <laughs> Unless we don't kill the shield. That's fine. Easy lethal. How strong can a Zephyrus with five triples really be, chat? For justice. Well, I guess you earned it. <laughs> That's nice. Could also pick the Buster, <laughs> but I don't think I have enough time. Greta number two. Should probably put the Greta back in then, right? More chance. Unlucky chat. Unlucky. Is that worth it? Yeah, I think I just play Selfless and Buster or something. Leave, but we're playing around it. The Scallies go off first because the Buster is on the right. Funky board. Yeah, it's just so big. So large. All right, I'm pretty okay with this because we 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 technically missed on our six drops, but we just went all in on Eliza. That was good. I like that. That's two good Galwing games, right? The warm up game was the first place. 
where I pulled two Theos instead of two Elizas, and that's when we won. Nice.